Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we are back at Horse Tooth Reservoir. I was here about a couple months ago filming a vlog, but now I'm back here. I'm back here fishing, and um, target species of smallmouth today, but I'm, I'll take literally whatever, because since I just moved to Colorado, I would like to find a spot, a good fishing spot, that I could usually go to that's close by like I did in Wisconsin. Like I have a lot of spots in Wisconsin that I'm just used to fishing and know how to fish. But here, there's not one single place I know how to fish. So we're gonna give this a shot and then hopefully, hopefully we hook up. I want at least one fish, at least one fish. I got my GoPro on and see if we can catch them. All right, so just like yesterday I was here yesterday and I got skunked but I had a fish on and I had a I figured out a way to fish this area because there's a sh steep drop off of a rock shelf right here right from shore because it's a reservoir and I was casting this little Guggen bait this little four to six feet running jerk bait it's called a Guggen Scout and I was basically just casting it wrong where I think that drop off is on the top of it. And whatever it was, I didn't really get to see if whatever it was I caught, almost caught yesterday, but whatever it was, it nailed this bait. So I'm gonna try to replicate that, that strategy today. And hopefully we could hook up. I'll be so stoked. Come on, smarties. I want to catch you. Go have to go around all that. That sucks. Oh, this looks like perfect structure right here. Awesome rock. Damn, it just drops straight down right there. I can fish this for a few minutes. This looks like a perfect structure, perfect vantage point to get at this structure. Huh. Interesting. Got one, got one. Here we go, boys. I got one. What is it? Small mouth. Come on, get in here. Woo! There we go. Small mouth for a kill. Oh my god, I had a heart attack. Let's go. Get this jerk made out of him. Oh, he's a beef. A beefy one. Oh. Crap. Oh, I almost broke I broke my hook already. Ah, oh, got it. Alright. So here we go. A nice big smallmouth. I mean not a big, but like he's a nice one. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> If you could see right here, he has a little minnow in his mouth. Nice little fish. So happy about this, guys. This is the fish I was hoping to get, not gonna lie. And he just smoked it right off this rocky shelf drop off. Nice little fish. I'm gonna get a picture of him. All right, let's get to release so he doesn't die. Over here filming, caught it all on camera. He has a little minnow inside his mouth. All right, come, come on, buddy. There he goes. <laughs> oh my God, guys. Let's go get another one. Just, I'm feel, I feel accomplished now. I feel 100% accomplished. 
All right, guys. Well, I just released that. Got a camera picture of him. Literally, first cast right here. All right, let's just get back in there. Because usually, sometimes when there's one, there's usually more. So stoked, guys. I honestly, I don't, I don't really, I really wouldn't care if I just left today. Or left right now, I meant. That's how uh, excited I am about this. This is gonna be a problem to climb over. Um, I think I'm going back over here and climb up. Oh, so happy. Little scout, he did it. Shout out to Guggen Squad. I mentioned them a couple times in this video already. If you don't know who the Guggen Squad is, um, basically fishing YouTubers I watch. And they're really good and they make awesome, awesome videos. Like, they don't just catch awesome fish, but like, they make entertaining videos. And when it came to, when it came to like vlogging and stuff, when I first started my YouTube channel, I started as a fishing channel, as you guys all know. And they were my big inspiration on starting this channel. So then, so that's why I went out to buy this, these baits. It's nice to support, you know. And then from them, they inspired me to be a fishing YouTube channel. And that's ideally, honestly, how I got into filmmaking was because of YouTube. All right, I'm gonna take a few casts right here. Keep moving, keep moving and grooving. Almost fell, that's not good. All right, keep moving. Watch out for these branches. Come on, smallies. Come on, smallies. Come on, smallmouth. All right, so I fished quite a bit of shoreline, and I think I had a few more hits, but I missed all of them. Oh. You know, I think I think I'm gonna call this a day, but I still will call this a mission of success. You know, I didn't catch much fish. I still got one, so I think I've got a good taste of like how to fish for these smallies over here, especially from shore. And I think I got a good taste, and I'm happy and I'm glad that I got a chance to catch one over here and get to understand how to catch them. But before I leave, what? A good video without some cinematic sequences. After all, I am a filmmaker. I do identify as a videographer. So what's a good fishing video without some good epic B-roll of these waters? Let's get it. So as I have mentioned, I basically bought this utility box for all my fishing baits. So I can literally have everything I need in any given scenario when fishing, it all in one little tiny box. So I can just throw my camera gear and my dry bag and my utility box all in this dry bag. So basically I can just utilize as much space as possible and take one bag with me whenever going fishing. Anyway, so as I said that, I have these little crankbaits, I have like bait fishing stuff, I have slower presentation weedless, I have like basically anything for any given situation and I'm kind of happy I put this together because it's something kind of I was kind of needing when, because ever since I picked up the hobby of filmmaking. Alright, and also, I did fail to mention this, but um, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm fishing with a different GoPro. This is my GoPro Hero 7. I used to have two GoPros, 
The other one I gave away to my little cousin, who's the GoPro here for. But when doing so, I had no microphone for this, along with no adapter. So basically, I went shopping a little bit. I bought two adapters so I can connect a Rode lapel mic to this GoPro, which basically allows for really good quality audio. I have an ND filter for this, so basically I could run at the proper frame rates and proper quality video, and, and basically proper settings and all that. So like I did a little research, and then I also bought all new GoPro batteries and a different GoPro charger, brand name GoPro batteries and chargers because I, ha I used to have third party batteries and I noticed that was really bad because whenever you're buying cameras, never, never buy third party batteries because you can, you can either kill your batteries, kill your camera, or just drain the battery life out of your camera at, like at always and it's just it's not a good thing. Because I noticed last year when I was fishing with my third party batteries, all my my battery life sucked. I would charge them fully the next the day before, and the next day they'll be completely dead. And it pissed me off. And now that I get, got these new batteries, didn't happen once. So, yeah, that was my basically my first fishing video. I did it in a very long time. And I'm super stoked because I'm here in Colorado in the mountains trying to figure out of like how to fish a lake very close by and I think I got a really good taste of it of how to fish it so even though I didn't really catch that much fish so I really hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did I'm really stoked I caught that fish even though he wasn't too big still a good fighting fish and still a decent size anyway hope you liked this video please like subscribe and smash that notification bell if that's something you're into and once again let's see you on the next video.